Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It is day 18 of Vlogmas. Yeah, it's 18 because it's Alyssa's birthday. Uh, it's day 18 of Vlogmas and I'm currently baking a cake for my roommate Alyssa right now. Uh, it's in the oven and I think I'll show you when it comes out. Um, it's a, I just got a box mix of a like shortcake angel food cake that's what it is uh for her because uh, that's what she requested from me I was gonna do it from scratch but I've just been so tired <laughs> so I was like you know we're just gonna do a box and we're gonna get it done um I also need to go get her a card real quick and write that uh I'm very like uh what's the word I'm very expressive in cards I like to fill cards with like my deepest most lovely emotions for people uh so that they can keep them and have them around and remember you know how much I care about them uh so we're gonna go get a card I already got her a present I'm very excited for her to open her present um hopefully I can get uh her to maybe maybe do that on camera or maybe um I can just tell you what happened. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what we're up to today. Besides, uh, I've got D&D later. Uh, I, I'm in two D&D games in person, and they're on Monday and Tuesday nights, and in both of them, we're fighting dragons today. Uh, we're really doing the dragon of Dungeons and Dragons, so that's fun. I'm just doing like kind of a quick little chit chat video today. I'm very tired. <laughs> like I've been having fun running around doing all the things with people and like seeing lights and going to activities. Uh, but I'm very tired mentally and physically. I took a couple days off because I had extra videos and I'm still exhausted. <laughs> so um, I just kind of want to chit chat with you today for a little bit about kind of what's going on and what's coming up and yeah. So I think Alyssa and I still have some gingerbread houses we're going to do. Um, I was going to put up the tree, but it's so late now. And every time I go to do it, I just get distracted by stuff. And I'm so tired that we might just not have a tree again, which I feel bad about. Um, although for Christmas, so my mom visited for the Astralumina thing. And um, she made me an ornament for Christmas uh, that I'm excited off to show you. Uh, that's for like our trip to New York City. We went to New York City uh, in like late August, early September, and um, it was so cool. I uh, had a great time, and uh, I'll have to show you uh, the ornament because it's um, w made with one of the subway cards that we had uh, for the Metro because we just got like one for the week or whatever. Um, and I love the subway. I had such a good time in the subway. I love how convenient it is. I love how cheap it is. Uh, I was like, wow, I just desperately wish we had a subway. I'm autistic, so I love trains, I love subways, I love public transportation. Um, that is a stereotype about us, and it's true. Uh, but that was very sweet, and I liked it a lot, I'm very excited. I'm, like I said, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna put up the tree, um, probably. But, uh, excited to have that for next year when we put up the tree, which I definitely will do. I'm gonna force myself to do it early. The second Thanksgiving is over, we're doing tree. Maybe before. Uh, it's up to, you know, up to me and Alyssa what we're going to do, I guess. Anyway, uh, Alyssa and I are going to be opening presents uh, that we got each other on Christmas Day. Uh, my family celebrates Christmas on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to head over there, I think, on the 23rd and then stay the night and then be there for Christmas Eve and then try to come home. But it depends on how late I am there because I do have to go over the pass, uh, over the mountains. And uh, preferably I do that at like the warmest time of the day. So we're the least likely to have like ice and snow and things. It looks like it's going to be clear, but it's hard to tell. You never know. So I might not be able to be there. It's kind of up in the air always um but i'm excited to try to get there hopefully to see my family that would be great we're doing like a pajama thing this year so that'll be fun i got some like cozy cute pajamas to wear and uh yeah always uh, you know always fun to see my family um and maybe i can give you a little tour of moses lake of where i grew up it's uh you know a nice small town in the middle of nowhere with a lake that has toxic algae in it often <laughs> so one of my favorite things is uh when I tell people I live uh, yeah I grew up in a place called Moses Lake they're like "Ooh, must have been fun having a lake right there to go swimming and whatever and I'm like don't really go in the lake yeah not really 
a thing that I did a lot. And they were like, oh, why? And I'm like, it has toxic algae in it. So it's just not a good idea to do generally. Dirty lake. <laughs> but, you know, I think they're doing their best to work on it. Hopefully. I am hoping to get to the Tulalip Casino uh, before the end of the season um, because they've got a bunch of like super bright lights going on there. They look really cool. Uh, I think I could just like slow drive around. I got a little mount for my phone in my car so I should be able to do some amount of like uh, recording while I'm driving, you know? Obviously I'm not gonna like touch it and talk directly to the camera, but like being able to see what I'm seeing while I drive. Um, so hopefully I can do that and then maybe we can go to the casino and check it out. It looks really beautiful. Uh, or maybe I can convince a friend to go with me so they can record it for me. Um, I definitely want to do some filming of my drive to Moses Lake. It's super beautiful uh, going over the pass. And it's fascinating watching it go from the like lush green, you know, uh, vibe that is the general view of the Pacific Northwest to the just desert landscape that I grew up in where uh, just, you know, tumbleweeds are a regular occurrence. Um, so yeah, it's kind of fun to see that those mountains make a drastic climate change that I think people don't really realize. Anyway, uh, before the end of the year, I'm hoping to do a few more things, um, on my kind of like to-do list. I need to get my, uh, my lip piercing, uh, downsized. It's a little too long now that it's, you know, not swelling anymore, which is great now that it's healed up. And uh, so I think I'm going to try to do that this week so that I can get that done before Christmas. Um, it's been about the right amount of time, so we should be good. And then uh, I need to, a lot of it's just like cleaning and organizing my house and like doing house maintenance, which like maybe I could show you if you're interested. Um, like I'm, right now I'm like working on cleaning out all the drains, you know, with like hot water and like baking soda and vinegar and stuff to make sure they're running smoothly. Um... And then I'm trying to, I'm currently kind of, I have a little gym set up on my top floor. I'll have to give you a tour uh, in the near future. But I am trying to kind of convert it to me, not just like, it's mostly cardio based right now. And I'm trying to convert it to be kind of both cardio and strength based. Uh, I had a membership at LA Fitness and I just wasn't going. And I just think it's, you know, in the long run, cheaper and easier for me to just have machines, to be honest, um, in my home. So... I need to set up those machines. I'm currently just physically trying to get them to the top floor uh, because it's uh, my, I have three floors in my house and it's a journey to get it all the way up and they're very heavy, uh, you know, so it's taking me a little bit. Uh, most of them are up there though. It's been a few days and I've been doing that. Uh, but yeah, maybe I can show you me setting it up uh, and we can uh, see the gym. I'm hoping to do like kind of a pastel girly gym. I think, um, gyms are often very like masculine colors. It's like gray and red and black and very dramatic, you know, in that way. And I just like a pastel girly pop vibe up there. It makes me feel more comfortable and it makes me feel more like relaxed. Like, oh, this is a nice fun thing we're doing instead of like, it's intense and scary. <laughs> I've also got uh, my appointment set up now for my PCP to, like, I think we're going to do some just, like, you know, yearly checkup stuff as well as, uh, mainly I got it so that I can hopefully get a referral for a breast reduction. Um, I am pretty close to the BMI they want me to be to do that, so I'm hoping I can get there by February and we should be good. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on all those things. Um, I'm assuming what's going to happen is I will get the referral and then I'm going to have to schedule that, obviously. And then uh, that they probably were going to want to do some like scans or something to make sure that it's like, see how my back is doing or whatever. Um, that or they'll just look at me and be like, yeah, it looks pretty bad. Um, <laughs> which is what happened at the place where I was going to pay out of pocket. They were just like, yeah, we could do that. Um, but, you know, too too much weight, too high BMI. So never mind. But since we're going through insurance, I'm assuming they're going to have more feelings about like, oh, let's do some scans. Let's do some something. Um, but we'll see. I'll keep you updated on all those things. Uh, I want to say my appointment's like February 5th, somewhere in there, uh, right around my birthday. Uh, so hopefully that'll be a great birthday present for me is a nice referral so that I can 
uh, get more physically comfortable and make that progress. One thing I wanted to say um, before I ended the video is I'm really proud of myself because normally at this time of the year, I'm like, oh, well, it's so late in the year. I don't really have time to accomplish anything before next year. So I'll just kind of like coast and like wait and chill and kind of, and honestly be anxious. I'm usually anxious at the end of the year because I'm like, just reset the year, please. I just want a new fresh one because uh, I really like new starts for things. Um, but, you know, I started working on this like weight loss stuff for a breast reduction in September and like I'm almost there. Um, and I also started doing YouTube, you know, like at the end of November and I already hit like 50 subscribers, which is awesome. And it's been going really well. You know, like I said, I'm tired uh, cause I'm doing a video like every day and it's like mildly exhausting, uh, to do that. But, uh, I'm having a good time. I am like really enjoying it and um, that's been something I've wanted to do for like decades and I'm really proud of myself for just doing it and doing it at the end of the year to be like, you know what? We still have time. We can still accomplish something here. And yeah, it just feels good. And so, you know, I want to say like, don't, don't try to give yourself the perfect conditions to do something like just do the things, you know, just try it out, do it badly, do it now, you know? Uh, I'm trying to get better at doing that and like kind of de deconstructing the perfectionism in my brain so that, uh, I just try more things, do more things, and you know, you can only succeed at things if you do them. So yeah, that's my that's my advice uh, if you're interested. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I know it's kind of boring video, or like not the most exciting things I could be doing, but uh, hopefully a nice chit chat was fine for today, because like I said, I'm exhausted. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the cake when it comes out, I think, and then we'll be good to go. All right, there she blows. The cake is free. It's looking pretty golden. It said it shouldn't be sticky in here anymore, and it's not. And uh, it told me to rest it on its side since we did it in the loaf pan, but uh, it looks good. Now I just got to chop up some strawberries, and uh, we're going to have a little, like, strawberry shortcake angel food cake celebration. Uh, thanks for joining me today, hanging out low-key. Uh, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with hopefully something outside. <laughs> Bye.